Wednesday today um, and uh, I'm just out this morning to do my um, car registration go over here and we're gonna go to the kiosk in Safeway so right now we're at Kapole um, market place whatever I don't forget what it's called um, I'm still feeling a little bit um, tired I guess this COVID made me tired but I think I should be good to go out already um, I'm just wearing my mask wearing my mask today you know try to be um, mindful of other people if you guys have a sniffle <clears throat> or a cough body aches wear a mask so we can stop the spread of this freaking COVID <clears throat> and if you're gonna always say oh it's my allergies or whatever isn't that part of it come on let's go isn't that the symptoms of covid hello <laughs> i just kind of get irritated when people be like oh that's only my allergies what did you test did you test if you have covid or did you test if you have allergies <clears throat> but I do the right thing. I mean, at least I let the people I was around know. I don't be trying to say, it's, oh, it was just one. my allergies. No, I, at least I go get tested and then I make sure people around me is safe. So here's the DMG kiosk. Let's see what we have. Please select a volume level for voice assistance. Please select a volume level. Please select a volume level for voice assistance. You will need the following to renew a vehicle registration. Alrighty guys, so that was the easiest to use the um, kiosk. Um, it wasn't that hard at all. And I just needed the registration renewal thingy. And all together, because I have like a different license plate, I have to pay $25 a year for that one. Um, I was kind of feeling dizzy. I was gonna walk the way around here, but I wasn't. I was kind of feeling dizzy, so I'm gonna go back home. Um, so let's try to go back to the market and see if anything happened. Okay, so um, let's see how much was it? $371. $371 for my car. Um, it is a Honda. Um, HRV. So that's how much it costs in Hawaii. $371 a year. Unbelievable. <sighs> if I didn't have the license plate, it's, it would have been $358. But it's okay. So we're gonna go head home now. Never did do her pooping. We'll see you guys at home. She is over there. There was a little um doodle. He was so cute, but she was like barking and then he was like, ah, never mind. So cute. Yeah, so I don't know. I just noticed like last night yesterday being home. I've noticed last night yesterday being home. It's it's kind of like makes you depressed, irritable. I just was feeling those feelings yesterday, like depressed or irritable. Um, just staying home. It's kind of like hard on your mental health. So, you know, for the people that, you know, are home a lot, um, 
you know uh, that's a big part of anxieties and depression um, being indoors in the house doing the same thing over and over again or not doing something um, not keeping busy um, that would play a big part in your mental health because um, I remember when I was home when I got hurt from work I was home for maybe a year or two something like that and then those days were when I had a lot of anxieties um, depression especially when COVID hit too oh then I really had to stay home what's going on and it, it's just kind of depressing you know um I don't know and I wasn't feeling I just felt dizzy earlier still feeling dizzy but when I took my blood pressure it was really good it was um 117 over 76 or something like that it was in the green zone so I'm like what is going on then you know um so imagine I know you guys are saying that she's just a dog really she ain't just a dog she's my poo bear but imagine the dogs um when they have to stay in the house and sleep all day do nothing um imagine their mental health like i know you know they still have minds and feelings you know just because they can't speak to us about it i know that they have those emotions as well um you know so imagine even the dogs they must have a lot of anxieties as well just being home you know not being able to be a dog like Navea, I feel bad because I'm sick now but I try to bring her out here so she can run back and forth and then get some kind of interaction even though it's just people passing right now we got a little cutie pie walking across she's trying to get their attention but they're just walking by across the street but that's a little bit of interaction um Especially when I go to work. I mean, but now I go to work early in the morning. And it's like she's still sleeping, right? Um, but just, you know, just being at home, my mental health was, uh, it's not the greatest. I just feel yucky, irritable, and sort of depressed. I've been trying to watch um, Christmas movies that kind of picks you up. Um, but I just still feel feel kind of weak and dizzy as and I hope that <clears throat> is over with by the time I get back to work so hopefully I can go back to work Saturday or Sunday whichever uh, I'm not on the schedule this whole week Saturday so maybe Sunday I don't know <sighs> but yeah so mental health is it's hard, especially if you're at home a lot. I mean, you're at home a lot, so a lot of things pop into your mind, you know, more. Um, and I don't know, I just <clears throat> noticed that yesterday. I mean, it just kind of sucks. It's like you're isolated, you're just by yourself. I just hope that over you know that I'll get over that part it just kind of sucks though you know anyways yeah so um I don't know what else to say but uh, I'll see you guys in my next video I'm just gonna close this out and I don't know how to relieve that you know like to relieve the depression or the moody thing I'm going through right now I don't know how anyways I'll catch you guys in my next video bye